Hello. Uh, we're going to spend a few minutes going through some of the mechanics behind COBOL.run and how it all works. Um, COBOL.run is a service that lets you quickly and easily deploy your existing pro uh, COBOL programs to the cloud um, onto IBM Bluemix. And your pro COBOL programs essentially become uh, serverless functions that operate on a function as a service uh, cloud architecture. As we went over in the previous video, we have a Bluemix, an, an OpenWhisk action called compile and run. This is the, uh, the actions page on Bluemix. Um, here's our compile and run action. Uh, we're using the Docker runtime, which we'll, uh, we'll explain why that's important in a minute. And uh, whoops. And uh, we're just uh, setting some other parameters here. So it's only allowed to use 128 megs of RAM, keep everything nice and quick and lightweight. It has 30 seconds to run. And uh, these are the parameters for the COBOL programs that the COBOL.run service allows you to upload and execute in the cloud easily. So we'll briefly run through some of the code and we'll talk about all of the different components including Docker and how they're all related and how they all work together to make this service possible. Like I mentioned, the OpenWhisk runtime is Docker. Uh, the COBOL.run service uses GNU COBOL compiler, which needs to be itself compiled. Um, m most of the other uh, current offerings uh, function as a service Platforms from Amazon, Azure, uh, do not yet support easily uh, the ability to uh, invoke arbitrary Docker containers through the service. OpenWhisk makes that fairly straightforward. So uh, that's why we're using OpenWhisk to start out. Moreover, uh, COBOL and, o and, and IBM have a very storied uh, legacy together. So... Um, uh, Bluemix also happens to offer DB2 um, as a service and some other things that I think work well in uh, a, a lot of COBOL environments and, and there's a lot of good ecosystem features there. <clears throat> COBOL.run is a Node.js application. Um, it's built using the Trails framework. I have the project checked out here. Um, you can go to github.com slash morecobol slash cobol.run, uh, clone the repository yourself, fire it up. Uh, I can get it running just by running npm start. That starts up the server. This is the same server that's running inside Docker that we're deploying to OpenWhisk. The reason this is useful is because I can run it locally and test everything out here without having to um, deploy things to the cloud yet, so I can test everything out in my, my local environment first. Uh, this includes being able to compile and run COBOL programs. So also in the previous video, I had a file called helloworld.json um, that contained the source string for a simple hello world program. You, from the Trails um, console here, uh, I can just require that file in, which was uh, which was here. When I require this in Node, it'll just give me a nice um, JSON object. So if I just type prog1, this is the contents of that JSON file, remember? So we have dialect COBOL 2014, and this is our source string. Really simple pro COBOL program. It's just basically a hello world. So now, uh, if we want to test this out locally, um, the, the Trails console has a has built in um, REST uh, request functions. So I can, be, because I'm going to be making a POST request to the slash run endpoint. Slash run is um, a an API endpoint defined by OpenWhisk, and this you implement this endpoint in your web service running inside of Docker when you want to expose that functionality 
uh, via OpenWhisk. So we have this run endpoint, and prog1 is this JSON file that we just uh, loaded. Um, I'm going to send it in in the post bo uh, request body here, just from the console. So if we do that, um, we'll get what we expect. Um, we get some logging output, and then we get this object right here. Hello world second try. That's exactly what we sent in. This, our COBOL program is going to display this string. So great, that works. Um, we get some other sort of debugging output that we can make use of, and we can test out our um, just-in-time COBOL program compilation on our local machines.